Hello everybody, it's Apocalyptic Todd here today with in Halo Reach for the Pelican Easter Egg. And uh, so all you have to do for this is start up New, Alex New Alexandria and fight through all of the buildings. And once you do that, you gotta look for this button on, um, underneath this little hang off from this building right next to Club Herrera. Uh, if you, I just paused it there so you guys could see where it was. And that's Club Herrera right there. So it's uh, so hopefully you guys can tell from that. Uh, and yeah, so once you find that button, once it appears, because it appears after you do the buildings, I recommend two people for this. It can be done with one, but it's very hard. You just gotta wait up here on this top building for your partner, which I use the Atomic Gamer for this one. And so, he's just gonna come out here and get on top of my Falcon. So I recommend you gotta pilot very slowly, or else he'll fall off. Because it's uh, apparently pretty slippery with all the rain. <laughs> but yeah, he can slip off pretty easily, so go slow. You see, almost there he slipped off. So, you just gotta slowly, slowly go down. And, uh, so, well, uh, once you do that, the button will be activated, and I'll explain what happens once we get there. But, uh, also, if you guys want to suggest in the comments, uh, what Easter egg I do next, or what video I do next, because I could do, like, a... I was actually deciding between this and, uh, uh, look back at Halo 2, if you guys wanted. Uh, it doesn't have to be a Halo game, uh, just, uh... Turned out to I've been doing a lot of Halo Easter eggs. So once you're here, you gotta press that button. Oh, he didn't actually have to use his jetpack, so you gotta be careful because a lot of times you do have to use your jetpack. But you can do that. We were pretty lucky that time to uh, get it so perfectly. So um, once you do that, you might want to drop your uh, friend off in his Falcon because that's the only way he can get his own Pelican slash um, Phantom. If you use a Banshee to go through the uh, uh, building, you can get a Fal a Pel uh, Phantom. Sorry. Uh, but it's pretty tough to get a Banshee on this level. So I'm just going to speed it up here because it takes a couple of minutes to get there. We speeding up. Okay, so uh, once you get there, you got to fly right through. But you do actually have to get your own um, height. There's a specific height. You just can't th fly through the middle. Y you just got to find it. It's not It's not like it's hard. Because as you can see, I didn't get it there. Uh, but Atomic Gamer will get it his first time. So I just kind of, you can just go in the middle and kind of just lose velocity or altitude, I mean. And once you do that, Pelican. Simple as that. It's uh, honestly simple as that. It's kind of tough to control, but once you get it, you get it. And also, Pelican can hold a couple people in their cargo bay, and uh, one person controlling the turret. I did not know that at the time of making this video, so we did not get to. But uh, here's some video of me screwing around, and you can die in it if you hit the floor. As you can see, Atomic Gamer died, and that you just saw him die again, because he tried to spawn on me. But, um, you can fly outside the map and under the map and whatnot. But if you fly under the map, if you hit the, um, like, uh, I guess ceiling, you will die. You'll blow up. And if you fly too far outside the map, your pelican will get disoriented and you probably will have a chance of blowing up. But you can get pretty far. You can get really, really far. But you're indestructible otherwise. So, uh, just to repeat myself, please comment, like, and subscribe. And also, please, in the comments, suggest some Easter eggs. It makes it a very... It makes it a lot easier for me, so I will see you guys later.